So today we're going to talk about quantile regression and basically there's two uses for quantile regression that we're going to cover today. One is dealing with non-normal distribution of the dependent variable um, when there's just not a nice distribution uh, that we can use. And the second use of a quantile is more substantive is when the effect of the independent variables um, vary across the levels of the dependent variable which allow us to answer more kind of interesting questions about um, if the effect, if we assume that the effect is not constant across um, the spectrum. So we're going to be using this car data set, uh, this auto data set that's installed in all of the uh, statas out there. And to use it, you just type in system use auto. And, um, and uh, we ran a histogram. And you see here that the distribution of prices doesn't follow a, no a nice normal bell curve. Uh, usually cars are, you know, being sold around $5,000. Uh, and then you get cars that get more expensive, but it dramatically decreases. And if we do an ordinary least square regression on uh, price, and we want to look at something like weight, our line, because it's regressing on the mean of price, will get heavily skewed by these outliers, these luxury cars. And we can't just get rid of these luxury cars because they're important for our analysis, but they're going to skew the line a certain way, and, and it's going to make the whole model kind of less efficient. For instance, if we just regress regularly, uh, this is the estimate that we get. And uh, if we look at the model here, it explains a good amount of variance. Uh, and we can also see that the effects of the weight of the car, the length of the car, and whether or not the car is foreign all have uh, significant effects. But because of the outliers, we don't really know whether or not these standard errors are accurate because the distribution of the dependent variable is skewed. Um, it's, it's difficult to say whether or not these are accurate standard errors. And so the quantile regression, instead of regressing on the mean, actually regresses on the median of the price. So instead of the average, uh, we're looking, we're going to model on the median, uh, which is less affected by skewness. It's less affected by outliers. And so to run that, you just type in Q reg price, uh, weight, length, and foreign. And we notice that the main difference really is that length here is not statistically significant, whereas in the previous model, um, where we assumed there was normal distribution of the dependent variable, it was seen as significant. So this is a better method of adjusting the standard errors in a way, and we can see that this isn't a significant effect. Another difference in this model is that instead of looking at how these coefficients affect the mean of the price. We're again looking at the median. So this is the median of foreign versus non-foreign cars. So we see that on average um, the foreign cars increase the, the median price of a car by $3,300. Okay so a second use of quantile regression uh, which is more substantively interesting is looking at whether or not the effects of a particular uh, factor such as foreign or not has in has inconsistent effects across the spectrum of dependent values. So is is the effect of, of foreignness, is it constant across all price ranges of a car? You know, do, do, do uh, economic cars, middle range cars, and luxury cars, are they similarly impacted um, by whether or not it's domestic or not? And so to do that, you, all you have to do is just do the the median, pr the quantile regression again, and as an option, you just type in quantile, and you choose what uh, quantile you want to look at. Uh, so, for instance, we can look at the 25th quantile, we can look at the 50th, and we can look at the 75, all separately. And so here we see that uh, foreignness uh, has a $2,000 impact on the median of kind of economic cars. And if we look at the next scale or the next level up for middle range cars uh, has a slightly higher impact has around $3,300 increase on the median price and then if we look at the 75th percentile we see that it has a slightly higher impact so foreignness has higher impacts on the price as we go up, go up. And uh, we can actually run all of these at the same time. Um, we don't have to do it one by one. And you just type in uh, the regular regression command, put the comma, 
quantiles 25, 50, 75. And here you can actually put whatever quantile you want. You can put 4, 5, and you don't have to put it at 25. You can put it at any level that you think is theoretically interesting. I really don't know if the middle price range is around the 50th percentile, but I'm just assuming it is. But if I had a suspicion that maybe the 60th percentile was interesting, I could have put that in. And then I have the reps 100 here, which is just bootstrapping uh, for the standard air. Um, we won't cover that for right now, but um, you just highlight it and run it. And here we see the 25th quintile, 50th quintile, and 75th quintile. And we see, again, the differential impacts of foreignness on uh, these three different levels. We see that the pseudo R square is different slightly on all of them. It seems like for the luxury cars, uh, whether or not a car is domestic or not, seems to have more impact. And so this model here is assuming is not assuming that the effect is constant across the price ranges of cars. And we can see how that assumption is being held with a regular regression. And we can see how that gives us different estimates. Uh, so this is the original model. And we see that you know it gives us the, an impact of around $3,500, uh, whether or not a car is foreign. And it kind of overestimates uh, that impact for low, for cheap cars. And it slightly, yeah, and it overestimates for median cars as well. And it's really just accurate for the more expensive cars. So we see how the outliers are automatically affecting um, the way that this coefficient is constructed. Um, the last thing is that, like I said, you can add any quantile to test, and we've left this for you uh, to try out. You can try out different quantiles, um, but essentially that's quantile regression.